Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Tay Ming, and welcome back to my channel. So today, you guys see the title. This is gonna be a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm not finna hold y'all because I know y'all wanna get straight to this video. So make sure that you guys spam the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, put a thumbs up. Also click my bell button so you guys get notifications every time I drop a new video. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Y'all already know I gotta start off with my little water bottle. Gotta stay hydrated, it's summer y'all. So I gotta go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera cause if I don't, they're not gonna look the best. Like, I just need to focus. So I'm gonna come back after I do my eyebrows. Okay y'all, so I'm back. So today, y'all can kinda tell by the title, I really wanted to speak on confidence. You know, it's crazy because I don't really, that's nothing that I really talk about or whatever. But recently, like a lot of people have just been coming to me like, you know, about confidence and how to boost their self-esteem. And I was just like, damn, maybe I need to talk about this on my channel because it's been popping up in my life so much. Like, maybe that's a sign from God that I need to just speak. First things first, confidence is one of those things that hard to obtain and hard to maintain. When you're coming from a place of low confidence or low self-esteem, like it's really, really difficult to look at yourself and actually be pleased and happy with what you see in the mirror. And a lot of people deal with this issue. Hell, I deal with this. Like, it's crazy because before I even did, you know, thought about doing this video, like when I was, you know, thinking about it, I was like, damn, I don't even know what to tell people because it's like, I struggle with confidence myself, you know? But confidence is something that you truly have to work. It's like a muscle. When you go to the gym and you lift and, you're focused on a certain muscle or building your body up every day that you go to the gym, your body is getting stronger and your muscles are growing and they're getting bigger and you're getting built. So it's really like a muscle. You have to work it out every single day in order for it to be really strong, you know? Nowadays, a lot of times this confidence thing comes from social media and I've been a victim of that. You know, you get on social media and you just see people living their best lives and you be seeing, you know, celebrities, you be seeing influencers, people, Instagram models, like rappers. Like you just see so much stuff that makes you feel like because you're not living their lifestyle or because you're not doing the things that they're doing, you feel less than and you're not less than. A lot of times when you get on social media, you may not even be feeling less than, but you might be feeling like, damn, why am I not where she is? You start comparing yourself. And comparing yourself, for one, is the quickest way to make yourself depressed. It's comparing yourself to everybody. I know it's easier said than like understood that everybody is different. Everybody has different paths. Everybody does different things in their life. Nobody has the same nobody is the same and everybody takes a different path you know and it's really hard for you to understand that when you're constantly being thrown pictures and videos and you're looking at other people's lifestyles one thing you have to understand about like social media and instagram and everything like you're really only seeing the highlight of somebody's life you're not seeing the hard times most of the time you're seeing the times where people are up celebrating their success. People are happy living their best life. Like nobody really just sits around and, you know, post that they're depressed all day. I mean, some people do, but shit. For the most part, the people that you're probably looking at, they're probably out posting like, they at the beach with they nigga or they getting all these gifts, Birkin bags, shit. This crazy stuff. I think that's like what really triggers people because again, you look at that shit and you're like, damn, I don't have that, so something wrong with me. And nothing's wrong with you. Um, a lot of times, especially for females, you know, we get on Instagram and we be seeing these BBLs and these big ass booties, titties, small waist, and it's like we just get really insecure because it's like, damn, I don't have that. And usually, you know, the chick that got that got all the niggas, and it's just like, damn, she living her best life. Like, oh, I don't want to blind y'all, sorry. But you know, we look at these things and we're like, damn. I don't have that. Well, first of all, you gotta stop comparing yourself. Like, number one key to building confidence is stop comparing yourself to other people. You don't know what somebody else has done to get the things that they have, look the way they look, have the money that they have. Like, you don't really know, you know? Even if you think you know, you don't really know. So, 
I always tell people like, you don't ever want to wish to have somebody else's lifestyle. Like you just don't, cause you don't know what the fuck these people really be going through in real life. Like I know a lot of people be looking at these relationships on Instagram and they just be so in their feelings like, damn, I want a man, I want a nigga that does this, that, and the third. Or... It's nothing wrong with wanting certain stuff out of life. That's not the problem. I think when it gets to the point where you get really depressed about why you're not getting those things and especially when you're young like it's just i think that's where the problem comes in oh wrong brush yeah that's where the problem really lies you know a lot of people just get so caught up on what other people have and again it's nothing wrong with wanting good things out of life i think everybody should have some type of aspirations or want something good for themselves whether it be financially spiritually emotionally anything like that I get it and I encourage people to have goals and want things for themselves, but don't beat up on yourself because that somebody else has it and you don't. Because you have to understand that one day you will have it, you know? And it's it's a constant process. So stop comparing yourself. Um, stop wanting certain shit because a lot of people want it. And these celebrities and these people wasn't really like pushing it like that. Nobody would want that shit. Like, you gotta understand, social media and all that, that shit is a trend. That shit is just what's popping right now. And trends change. Like, the real people that know, trends change all the time. Like, haven't y'all seen different clothing items from back in the 80s and the 90s come back in the 2000s? Like, come on now, y'all know this shit. Trends are just trends. They change all the time. You cannot depend on a trend. Like, y'all remember back when fanny packs was not a thing? Motherfuckers hated fanny packs. They was like, oh, that's a grandma-ass accessory. Now, all of a sudden, everybody got a fanny pack, including my ass, and I love fanny packs. Like, it is what it is. Like, shit is just like that, and you just, you can't get caught up on what's popping right now. And I'm not gonna say everybody, because I don't feel like everybody, every woman that has a BBL got it because they just try to be on trend. But you know, like, eventually, some of these big ass booties and all these big ass titties, like it's gonna go out of fashion and I hate to say it, but it is what it is. Like niggas will be back to wanting that slim thick video vixen back in the 90s type look. And if that's the case, I don't feel like people that are thicker or bigger girls should try to go get surgery to be smaller. Like I just, I don't, you know what I mean? I just feel like everybody needs to be who they are. If everybody's trying to be everybody, then everybody will be born it wouldn't be a you you know what i mean also you gotta spend time with yourself um i don't know if y'all saw my video that i made probably like what a month ago maybe at this point about breakup i was teaching you know the girls how to get over a breakup and everything and i was basically saying you have to really spend time with yourself and you really have to learn to love yourself y'all you know that quote where it's like you can't really love anybody else until you love yourself. I used to be like, that's some bullshit because it just seemed cliche to me. But you guys, ever since I've been single, like I've understood now what that means. You you really do have to be single. I mean, not single. You really have to love yourself in order to really love somebody else. And it never hit me that, you know, that's what really needed to happen. You really can't because a lot of times, especially when you're in relationships or you're just out here dealing with different people, it's like, you don't really give yourself a chance to get to know yourself or really love yourself. And when you don't love yourself, you'll sell yourself short. And I'm speaking from experience. Looking back at it, I've sold myself extremely short multiple times. Okay, multiple times. Because I didn't take the time to really get to know myself and I think my problem was like, I used to be in relationships back to back to back. And I remember telling people that. And I never really had that opportunity to get to know myself for real. Like I really didn't because I was just caught up on relationships and I was young too, y'all. I've explained it so many times, but you know, I've been dating since I was like 15. I'm 20 now. And I've been through a few relationships, like probably like three or four. I ain't have sex with them though. Let's just get that clear. I only had sex with like two of them. So yeah, before everybody starts saying, damn bitch, you fast. Not fast. I was just always like a relationship type of girl. Um. So yeah, spending time with myself was not really a thing. Like I used to be like, what? Spending time by yourself, like the fuck? What does that mean? Like God put other people on this earth for us to talk to other people, spend time with other people, which he did, but 
I didn't realize like being alone was essential until I really, you know, was single and I was by myself. I just remember like when I even was like, how, how am I supposed to spend time by myself? Like, what is that? I was always asking myself like, the fuck does that mean? Spend time with yourself, you know? Yes, you have to. Every week I map out a time, like especially my Sundays and my weekends most of the time. I've been doing this thing where I've been spending time with myself. I've been taking myself out on dates. And I literally be meaning dates. Like I go to a restaurant and I'll sit at the table by myself and I'll just chill and I'll just enjoy my own company. And I'll just have a good ass time. Like dead ass, that's how I am. It's been working. Like I used to think it was so weird. Cause I was just like, ugh, like going out by yourself. Like that's lame as fuck. People gonna be looking at you crazy. But honestly, don't nobody really give a fuck. Don't nobody really care. Like, you might have a few people like, oh, she's sitting by herself. But it's like, girl, I'm sitting by myself because I want to. Like, <laughs> trust me, that's all that is. So, yeah. Go um, spend time with yourself. Take yourself out on dates. Go get your nails done by yourself. You don't always got to have your girlfriends around. Like, people be thinking that you always got to have your friends or you always got to have your sits with you and you don't you do need some time to yourself where you don't have friends and it's just you and you're just unplugging by yourself you know don't always think that you gotta have your homegirl tag along with you and that's something that me and my friends are really good on like we don't try to overcrowd each other we don't try to be over overwhelming on each other you know like my friends aren't really dependent like that they know how to just be in a lane and I be in mine. Although we are friends, like they know when I need space and I know when they need space. So, you know, if you have friends that don't understand that you need space, then maybe you just need some a new group of friends. Like my friends just aren't super clingy because I'm not super clingy. But yeah, do things by yourself. And it's important. Like when I say the importance of that is because you start to get to realize like I'm dope as fuck. Like when you spend time with yourself, you realize, yo, I'm really cool. Like I'm a vibe. I'm you, you realize certain things about yourself, like when you're by yourself, but you can't see these things if you're always in a crowd or if you're always just around people all day, every day. So getting by yourself, I feel like is essential because at the end of the day, if you don't love you, who will? When you're trying to deal with confidence, it's really hard to be confident and deal with confidence when you're in a relationship. And that was one of my biggest problems because I always felt like, okay, I know I'm a little bit, you know, unconfident in myself. And I know that, you know, I have certain things about myself that I wanted to change. And I wasn't, I just wasn't confident. Like, that's the only way I could put it. And I had my insecurities about certain things. Being in a relationship kind of held me back from really dealing with myself. And I don't even want to say it's the other person's fault, like whoever I was in a relationship with. Because I feel like it definitely had a lot to do with me and just who I am and myself. Because... I'm the type of girl, or I was the type of girl, when I used to get in relationships, I just used, it used to be all about the other person. Like, I wouldn't really take the time out to worry about me. I'm not gonna lie, I was that girl that was like, hanging with her nigga before her friends. Not gonna hold y'all. I was young, dumb, stupid, but that is what the fuck it is. A little tip for y'all, if y'all wanna, um, you know, make your face look more chiseled when you put your bronzer on, put it above your cheek because it's gonna give it more of like a chiseled look. You know what I mean? When it came down to like me really being with somebody, I used to just spend all my time with that one person. And you know, when they pissed me off and shit, I ain't had nobody to go through because I was always with that nigga. I just used to do too much, honestly. Like that's really all I can say. My bad, y'all. I had to get myself right. But yeah, if you're that type of girl where like your nigga just always comes first on some shit, then it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be difficult for you probably. If you're really dealing with confidence, it's not good to be in a relationship. I'm sorry, it's just not. Because you're gonna get in a relationship and you're gonna realize like, damn, I'm not confident. And it's just gonna take away from the time that you could be using to really focus on yourself and focus on what you're doing. And it sucks that it's like that, but it is what it is. 
it's just super hard to like focus on yourself when you're with somebody because you're just always worried about this other person and it's like you're with somebody so anything that you feel your partner can feel it whether you want to tell them or not it's like that's just, it's just how it works when you feel some type of way your partner always knows what you're feeling or that you're feeling something and that could really end up causing problems for your relationship you know what i mean if you're in a relationship and you're feeling like you're getting depressed or you're feeling like you know you can't really do what you need to do it's time to get up out that relationship it's time to get up out of that one baby and focus on yourself because it is hard and this is it's already hard as it is, so being with somebody else, it just adds on to how difficult it could be. You gotta accept your flaws. Accepting flaws is a huge one as well. It's a lot of things that every single woman does not like about themselves. I don't care who it is. Beyonce, for example, people love to say Beyonce ain't got no problems and oh, uh, how could she be insecure? And I'm not saying that she is, cause child, it is Beyonce at the end of the day. But it's like, we look at another woman that's doing good in life and that has so much success and we just be thinking she's fucking Superman and then that she doesn't have any feelings. And keep in mind, I love Beyonce, so don't get me twisted. Like, it is hard to believe people at her level even have these type of problems, but everybody deals with confidence. Like, it's not, it's not like this thing where it's just you. Have you ever not even been like having a problem with certain things and then all of a sudden you realize like damn i'm kind of insecure about that like i'm not gonna lie that was me with my body at one point i was okay with my body i didn't even look at it a certain way i was like okay but i'm not gonna lie when i got on instagram and saw these damn bbls and big ass booties i was like shit like damn okay like shit. like it was just a lot and it 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 brewed up an insecurity in me that I didn't even know I had. So insecurities come every single day. The goal is to just not have it control you. You have to learn how to have control over your insecurities and remind yourself that you are that bitch, okay? Like, you're that bitch, it's okay. Everybody deals with this, like, it's, it's normal. What I was saying about Beyonce though, like Beyonce probably got uh, insecurities or she probably got things about herself that she may not like or that she wants to fix, but it's like, we look at her like, bitch, you're Beyonce. Like, how? How could you? You're Beyonce. But everybody goes through this. Like, it's normal. We can easily be like, oh, well, Beyonce got money. She don't got no problems. Tell me in the comments down below, where do y'all get this whole idea that because you have money, like, nothing could be wrong with you? Like, where do y'all get that shit from? Because that is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. People just be thinking because folks got money and shit, like, oh, they could never have these issues. And you will be surprised. There are so many people out here that have money and have all the cars, bitches, women that are depressed because it's like money, that's just an outside thing. Because at the end of the day, if your money runs out tomorrow, what will you be happy about? And a lot of people don't think about that. Most of these people, if their money runs out tomorrow, they will be miserable. They will not know what to do because that's all they've ever depended, their happiness and their confidence and their self worth off of his money you don't want to be that person if you're insecure about something it's okay you just have to work on it like <laughs> i hate when people like come to me and they'll be like i'm just so insecure and they say it like it's a secret and it's like girl it's okay everybody has insecurities you're not the only one i deal with insecurities you know like you're good accept yourself accept your flaws everybody has something about them that they may not like or they may not favor and they just you know it's not their favorite part about them like for me i used to hate my forehead y'all can't really see it because i definitely have a wig on and i always push my wigs up but child i hate my forehead like i'm like oh i got the biggest forehead in the world i hate it like i used to be really insecure about that shit no bullshit when you wake up in the morning and you just realize like nigga my forehead ain't going nowhere like this shit is here for life you will start to be like, okay, well, goddamn, what am I gonna do about it? And that is just part of it. Because at the end of the day, what am I gonna do about my forehead? My forehead is here to stay. I'm not getting forehead surgery. So what about it? I used to hate the way how my eyes was really small. People used to talk about me all the time. People used to be like, damn girl, open your eyes. Like I know that shit used to be a joke, but that shit used to really piss me off in high school, middle school. But it's like, at the end of the day, what am I going to do about my eyes? Nothing. And on top of that, what are you going to do? Yeah, what you going to do? <laughs> but no, on a serious note, it's like, you have to understand. And what people don't realize, it's 
something about you that you don't even like, but it's somebody in this world right now that is dying to have what you have. And I didn't even realize till I got my lashes done one day. I was wanting to get this one set of lashes, but because my eyes are really small, I was scared to get them because I was like, damn, I don't want it to look really thick and heavy on my eye and my eye look even smaller. And she was like, girl, no, that would look so sexy. Like, it's people out there that come in here all the time and they be showing the lashes and the girl be having your eye shape and your eyes are really just cute and they're slanted and they're just, you know, they're beautiful. And that was like a damn, that was like a wake up call because I never thought about it like that. Like, wow, it's really women out here that really want what I have or want what I'm complaining about. And I was like, well then bitch, maybe I need to be a little bit more appreciative. So that's just something you have to deal with yourself about. On a spiritual note, pray. I know y'all probably be tired of me saying it, but I'm never gonna stop saying it. You have to pray. For all my soul sisters, all the people that believe in God out there, God is the one who created you, okay? And he created you how he wanted you to be created. So at the end of the day, why not go to your creator and tell God, be honest, be like, God, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't like my, my forehead. Like I know you said you wanted me created how I was created and you make no mistakes, but you don't think my forehead a little bit, you know? Like, go to God and really talk to him. And y'all might think that shit funny, but it's really the truth. Like, you have to go to God and you have to just tell him. He already knows, like, every single thought that we have. So, yes, he does know that you're insecure. But it's something, it's some power in just confessing to God and just confessing it. Because God know the truth, but he want to know if you know the truth and if you're really going to admit that that is your problem. But when you just come to God and... You're honest with him about how you feel. He starts to show you in his own personal ways, like why certain things are beautiful and why you are made the, made the way you're made. And you just you just rely so much. So I always tell people just pray. A tip that I can give you guys, if you are like you know on the more insecure side, you guys start journaling. Journaling and just writing is just one of my ways that I release. So. It helps me, honestly. Write your feelings down. Write down, you know, how you feel. Write down your feelings about certain stuff. Just write it down. And after you do that, pray about it. Ask God to help you get through that. And everything will be okay. You know what I mean? And don't just write all the bad stuff, you guys. Write down some things that you like about yourself. It's hard as it may seem and as insecure as you may be right now it's something that you love about yourself whether that's your personality something about the way you look something about you know your spirit like it's so many things out here that you like it's a lot of things i ain't gonna lie that i do like about myself i like the way my nose is shaped y'all I, I don't know what it is about my nose, but I love it. And ever since I got this nose piercing, cool. Yeah, I love it. I'm starting to like my eyes. I used to hate them, but I I started to like them because I was like, damn, like my eyes are really sexy. I love my eyebrows, even like before I put stuff on it, like my eyebrows are really versatile. So if I want to wear them more in an arc type of way that they are right now, I can. If I want to cut them a little short, I can. If I want more flat, bold, I can. I really like how I'm shaped. And I think Atlanta, moving to Atlanta is what did it to me because baby, when you down here and you see all these bodies that are just built, and there's nothing wrong, I'm not, there is nothing against plastic surgery. You do what you wanna do. If you like BBLs and all of that, go out and get it. But there's a lot of asses I done seen out here that have been ridiculous. But it's like, girl, like that shit don't even match your body. Like, it be like a fat ass booty on top of two twigs, so it's like, like I'm not gonna lie, moving to Atlanta really made me see that because where I'm from, I ain't really see a lot of that coming up. So now that I'm older, it is like a damn bitch. I don't I don't think I want that. It's not to say I will or I won't get plastic surgery. I I mean it's not a thought right now, but who's to say like in a few years I might not want to go and get something done? Like so I'm not even gonna set myself up and be an anti BBL person or anti uh, plastic surgery do what makes you happy and if you are gonna do surgery the only thing I could really ask y'all if you're gonna do it do it for you don't do it because of no nigga don't do it to impress no bitch do it for you you shouldn't want to be like somebody else like you shouldn't want to go to the doctor and show them a picture of Kim Kardashian or show them a picture of 
Black China or just anybody that got some work done on their body. I just feel like surgery should kind of enhance what you already naturally have versus build something that is not even meant to be on your body. So my loves, my babies, my sisters, can y'all please get something that looks natural? Like don't go try to build this make-believe body. Get something that looks like you were born with it. <laughs> if you gonna do it, okay? Yeah. Yeah, get something that you feel that looks like it came off your goddamn body. Who wants to go spend all this money? Like, I've been watching videos on BBL because they've been popping up on my um, timeline. But y'all, I was, uh, what's her name? Her name is Gina. I have to put her, I know y'all know her face, but I was watching her video about like, you know, her BBL story and everything. And you know, I just be real curious about that type of stuff. Like what it, like what is, what really goes behind like getting a BBL and stuff. And girl, when she said the price of a BBL, I was like, oh hell no. And it's not even just the price of it. Like she was also saying in her vlog, she was like, people be thinking like you're just paying for the BBL, but it's so much stuff that goes into it. She was like, you gotta be, um, you gotta pay for like the recovery house. You have to pay for um, your post-op massages, the garments that you're gonna wear. And baby, them garments was like, $200, $300, like they wasn't no cheap ass garments. Like you have to pay for the, just the shit that you're gonna be sitting in for months. She was like, and I recommend you get two or three of those because if something happens, um, then you know, you you need to have a backup one. Then she was talking about how the massages after the damn surgery hurt. And not to mention, most people go overseas to go get a BBL, so you gotta pay for a plane ticket overseas. Then you gotta find somebody to take care of you or pay to their recovery house. Like, it was just so much shit. A part of me do respect the bitches that get BBLs because, ho, you got some money. Yeah, because, bitch, that shit is a lot. And then they were saying afterwards, like, how you have to work out to maintain your body. And I know that's with lipo as well. I don't have people in my family get lipo. You do have to still work out and maintain your body because if you don't, then it's just gonna go back. Your fat is gonna grow back and everything's just gonna look worse even if i thought about getting a bbl after hearing that shit i was like uh-uh yeah uh-uh not doing that i'm glad gina asked and told me something because <laughs> i'm not doing that honey mm -mm. no yeah no yeah so yeah confidence like i said it's really hard to obtain but you can do it it's something that you have to work on every single day Make affirmations. I always support that. Write things about yourself that you like, like I said. And be gentle with yourself. You know, when you are going through this phase where it's just really hard for you to even look in the mirror and be pleased with yourself, like, just take it easy. A lot of y'all be beating up on yourselves and it's just like, girl, why is you doing that? Like, you're a person still at the end of the day. You're still a person. So just don't beat up on yourself, my love. Like, be gentle with yourself. Nobody on this earth is perfect, you know? And that's why I tell you guys, stop comparing yourself to these people on Instagram, these models and all this, and these influencers and everything, because a lot of people will face tune the fuck out of their face and put some shit on their face that's not even there to begin with. So don't, do not fall for that. And it's not to judge nobody. Everybody is entitled to do what the fuck they wanna do. But I just want you guys to be aware of that. Like that is a thing where people face tune and people will edit the shit that they don't want you to see out. I have a lot of friends that are insecure about their weight. This is why I low key be questioning, am I supposed to be a life coach or some shit? Because uh, a lot of my friends like come to me and they'll be like, girl, I don't know. Like, I'm just not confident with my body. And it's crazy because I've been there. I just didn't say nothing. Cause I'm, I know I'm telling y'all to be honest with y'all but I was not trying to be honest with myself. And I was not trying to be honest with nobody else either. Cause don't nobody ever like to admit that they insecure. And I was that girl. So when it comes to your body, if you want to lose weight, bitch, go to the gym and lose weight. You know, you can do anything. It's nothing wrong with making changes you know, with your body. There is nothing wrong with that. If you want to lose weight, go lose weight. If you don't want to lose weight, you want to go to the plastic surgeon, you want to go get some work done, go get some work done. Do whatever makes you happy. I always encourage women to, you know, deal with their natural body and just accept themselves. But at the end of the day, like, 
you do what makes you happy my love if you can't go to sleep at night and be happy with who you are like that's something you gotta have to take up with yourself anyways so do what makes you happy you know do what makes you happy so for my lashes today I kind of wanted to try out my lashes that I use for my clients because I've yet to try it. These are more on the shorter side and I like long wispy. So you see how these are like really long and wispy. So I don't know. I want to do like a longer tight set, but I don't know which one to do because I just want them to be really cute. Here's my Sephora lip gloss. I just found it. Yes, this is Perfect Nude by Sephora and you see how this shit just makes my lips look like butter, bro? I'm loving this little quick makeup beat I be doing. This is like my everyday makeup. This is nothing special. Only thing maybe different is I just add a little, little bit of shadow. So I wanna try these right here at the bottom. Oh, it's a glare and I don't like that. Oh, uh, I don't like that. Okay, so these right here, cause I like how fluffy they are. You can't even see them. And then I like these. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with these. I think I'm gonna go with these in a while. The more spaced out ones. And if these aren't cute, then I'm gonna just put the other ones on. I'm just imagining. Okay, these kind of cute. Hold on. Okay. Okay, hold on. Can y'all kind of imagine it? They're not as long as I usually do them, but these are a good. I like these. I think this is cute. Hold on. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I put my lashes on, put a little bit of liner and a little bit of mascara on and y'all, I'm fucking with these lashes. So now that I'm done with my makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my hair because I'm gonna wear my hair straight in the middle part. So I'll be back to show you guys the finished look and yes, honey. I don't have my watch on because it's over there, so I'm gonna get it when I'm done. But yeah, um, y'all see my hair got some flips in it. But yeah, you guys, confidence, child, is something that is hard to maintain, hard to obtain, and hard to maintain. Okay, now that I got my outfit on. I'm gonna just go ahead and close this video out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this, get ready with me slash chit chat. You guys make sure to put it in the comments and tell your girl that you wanna see some more of this. I really do appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Everything you do, it's me love. Everything about you.